Hello again, YouTube. This is Electrode Troll coming back for part 17, 16 actually, 16 of Link to the Past. I am going to be tackling Turtle Rock, and I will be seeing you guys over there. Now you noticed I use a Cane of Samaria here, and this means that the, the completing Dungeon Six before all the other dungeons or doing this one is mandatory because you need the Cane of Samaria to even progress through here. What does it do? If you use it on top of these uh, question mark platforms over here, you'll create a platform that you can stand on. And when you're on top of the platform, you can press the any directional key to go move this little platform in that direction. Now, this will be very mandatory later on. This is something that you need to figure out very quickly. Well, not very quickly, but... Uh, actually, hold on. There was something a little, little extra that we forgot to check out at the start. There was the telepathic tile because this tells us a very obvious and blatant hint that has been mitigated somewhat with the fact that we have the half magic meter thing. Let's go. Link, do you not possess the medicine of magic? If not, I recommend going against any further. Because we're going to be using a lot of magic power in this dungeon purely because of this whole platform nonsense. So let's go in this room, and I believe this room has some fun for us. All right. So you remember those other rooms, right, where you had to light torches in order to open a sealed door? Well, in this case, you get to do that again, except you got to do it on top of these moving platforms. So I believe this is the safest route. Let's go down. Let's not light these torches yet, and then let's hold up so I can turn up over there. Okay, so as soon as we go up over there, we want to go swing by and shoot these things. Or I can just shoot them right now. And the door is open, as you can see. Now, let's make our way quickly to the door. And we are in the next room. There's a little roller thing that will crush us, but if we can hide around and avoid that, then that's pretty much problem solved. Okay, so inside here is a dungeon map. Okay, we have more magic, we have a key. Now the key will be necessary for later on in the dungeon, but let's avoid this thing first. And let's go swing, 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 swing by, and there we go. Alright, so there's that. Now we need to go make our way into more of the dungeon, so let's go do that. There's a red stall post here, but we don't really care about that. Let's get full hearts so that we have our plasma swords again. And there's another one of these rooms. Now, you know those spikes, right? That means you have much less room to fight these things on. So, I mean, you could, but you could try to fight them off, but in this in this case, I can't really avoid, avoid them, so fight, trying to fight them off is really the best bet. Or just dodging left and right. You can also hold your sword out while you're charging for the spin attack to parry these things as they come toward you. And there you go. Problem solved. Now this room has just the magic and a fairy, so you just wasted my time room. How dare you. How dare you. I like how they included those statues with the tongues as if the game's making fun of you too for wasting your time in this room. But we have a key though, so let's go get that key accessed right now. And in this room are... oh, this thing. You notice how uh, when the sword beams were hitting this thing that the parts were flying off, right? And here we have chain chomps. I think one of these blocks are pushable, but I don't want to mess with that chain chomps right now. Because they hurt a lot. If they touch you. Alright, so there's that. Let's go- oh crap, no. I want to touch this and run away real quick. Lure them away. There we go. And... okay, gotta lure them away again. Ow! See that? Three hearts! And we're down here. Oh crap! Went down the wrong way. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm turning into a fairy. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. There's a little blob thing following us. 
You see the little pipes over there? Traveling across this room, give you a hint to what we're going to be traveling through next. Or doing, interacting with next, I should say. I believe there's a route to access these pipes somewhere over here. Yeah, over here. So let's go in this pipe and... It's like we're playing Mario. Okay, so now there are two pipes over here. I believe the this pipe is the one we have to go through. If not, then I'll find out very, very soon. Oh no, I don't want to be turned to a bunny. Get away from me. When does it run out? Oh. Thanks. Thanks, game. Okay, so... One spin attack can dispatch these guys pretty quickly. If the full cycle hits. There you go. I think he nailed the head, too, for a full hit. But... Um... Okay, we can't access that yet. So we can't, we, we can't do anything about that right now. And I don't think we can access get the big key right now because we don't have full access to it. So that was the wrong way. Let's go the other way then. Okay. Now that we're over here, what's waiting for us? A bunch of these stupid things that can turn into fairies. Now you're all a bunch of fairies. Oh no you don't! Get out of my way! Oh why are you still following me you stupid stupid thing? Man those things last forever. Well, not only forever but they last a long time. Okay so we got the key finally. We turned into a fairy for how long? Beat you up got a fairy. Wow, what else is new? Oh no! You see that? There's an eye on top of that door, and it fires lasers at us. But, okay, so let's go over here. Now we have the big key. Now we can turn back and go access that other room. And that, after we pass through that door, it seals behind us, leaving us over here again. With a full magic meter. Okay, so that thing's not gonna run on me, so let's just go over here. Wow. That was so exciting. Anyway, so let's go over here. Now we can go to the other route. And I believe those things have respawned. No, they haven't. But no, 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 no. We don't need to go through there. We should go through here. We know that going right is bad, so let's go left. And oh man, I love this room. This is this toss taught, taught taught the player a really good lesson. If you face the eye, it will open up and fire lasers at you. So it's best to like I don't know, pound these things in with a magic hammer or something. Because you don't want to be lasered, because lasers are bad for your health. Anyway, so let's go, uh, hunt the bomb over there, walk sideways, and while holding down, walk out. Now, I believe one of these, uh, leads to a cave in the light world. I forget which one it was. That you can't access normally. I believe it's this one. What am I talking about? Over here is a sealed room. Let's go pound these, uh, stakes in. Okay, now let's go... Beat up these guys. Come on, walk to me. Okay, so we gotta lure these guys in here. And I think these are, yep, lined up perfectly. Now, what's waiting for us in this room? It's a small treasure chest with a piece of heart. That's some ingenuity there, Nintendo. I like that. So let's walk out the cave, warp back to dark world and go into our cave. 
Now, if you use the King of Samaria here, we can go access across this and go get the Mirror Shield. You can now reflect beams that your old shield couldn't block. And this shield is pretty massive too. But I think I need to take a little break for here right now. I will see you guys next time. Or not next time, but I'll see you guys when I get back. Hold on. Okay, welcome back YouTube. I am done for my break. And I am going to go continue on with this dungeon. Now you notice I left that door locked because I had this route planned out. I wanted to get the chest, move up, move up, and go go on over the dungeon. Now I see two walls here, which is really nifty and interesting. But I'm just gonna go wipe out this guy. Open these pots. There's nothing useful here. And these cracked walls, there are certain types of cracked walls that I forgot to note that can be bursted down with um with a simple charge, a Pegasus Roots charge. Of course, not every cracked wall is like this. They have to be a bigger crack, and I noticed those are bigger cracks. And I, I, I didn't demonstrate that before, I actually forgot to, but there you go. Now, there are two switches here. Obviously, I just pressed this, uh, the trap one. So, let's go grab the other tongue and pull that, and there you go. Ah, this is the treasury of Turtle Rock. Not that we need it, but now. But there you go. Wow, I'm getting beaten up by these stupid things. Not that we need all this rupees anyway, because now I'm maxed out. So that was to the treasury of Turtle Rock. I bel I still believe that every dungeon has one of these. I just forget where to access some of the other ones. And here, here we have another little nifty little secret thing. Let's go uh, put the King of Samaria right there, access that, and get the key. Put the King of Samaria over there again, access that, and there you go. We have our key, let's go downstairs. Now we're down here, let's go to this... Oh boy, yeah, so learning how to... Learning how the thing works, the Cane of Some Mario controls work on here. Very necessary because now we're in this big maze. Big, big maze of sorts. Extra hearts won't hurt right now, so let's go access that. And in here is just another pot. That doesn't really give us that much, but hey, a little bit helps. And we need to press a switch first, so let's go find that switch. That much I remember right now. Ow. I'm gonna eat another hit. Ow. Oh, that's not working. Hmm. Ow. Oh, right. It's over there. I'm gonna eat another hit. Okay, so now I press another switch. I'm probably gonna need to use a fairy right now. So let's use one. Because I took too many hits from those rollers earlier, too. Ugh. And those fire things as well. This is a big reason I'm not too fond of the dungeon, because you're forced to be on this here. This is our destination right here, this area. I forget the exact route to get there right now, though. So, I may be wandering around a little lost here. Okay, I remember. Okay, so that was a little painful, I realized, to watch. And this room, uh, you see a bunch of those eyes? Those are the same lasers that f uh, eyes that fire lasers. This is Dash Cross here. Run over that guy. And here's a nifty little secret. When you swing your sword, you notice how the shield goes to your side? Let's go charge a spin attack. And we see our shield blocking this. Blocking very nicely. This is the solution to get past this part of the dungeon. I so we'll just do that and get across over here. So I believe one of these chests contains a key. Ok, 
Okay, there's the key. And over here is another wall. Which leads outside. That was so useful. So let's make our way back up here. And you see this guy? Let's go break his face. Let's go inside here. And it's a big room full of magical secrets. Let's go heal ourselves with a fairy, and there you go. Blow you up. And I think there's a secret on the left side of the room, but we want to Our main destination is to go up. So let's go refill ourselves with that fairy, blah blah blah. Okay, fairy obtained. No, that wasn't really a notable secret then. Never mind. But we can still make our way over here anyway, so... Here we go. Let's see what we got. We got heart, and we got arrows. Okay. Let's sort of beam our way out of here, and there we go. I think this is the last room we have to go through. I don't remember entirely. Yep, it's the last room. So, we're about to see the last boss, or not the last boss, but the boss of Turtle Rock. Are you excited? I sure am. Oh wait, no. Should be this one. Now, I believe this is where the Ice Rod is becomes a mandatory item. The first, this fight is separated into two parts. First, you have to fight... Uh, this, this boss's name is Trinex, by the way. But first, you have to fight these three heads. And okay, that first head's down. Now you need to hit the the heads with the ice rod or the fire rod. And after hitting it, it gets frozen. Now when it gets frozen, it's open. It leaves itself open to be hit some more by your sword. Oh wow, that hurt. Oh come on, come on. Okay. Now after that's done, the shell explodes. And Trinex revealed itself to be a giant snake. Now this isn't as bad as Moldorm, the third boss, but it is pretty notable, I guess. Oh no, is, this the, is the heart container gonna spawn out of place? No, it's just gonna spawn in the middle. Okay. And we have the last crystal. But this is why the ice rod is mandatory. You need to get the ice rod, otherwise you won't be able to defeat this thing. I think Ether might be able to damage it, but I haven't really tried it because it's really magic inefficient. I appreciate you for coming so far to rescue me. As I thought, you were the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate thinking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters, enters a fight world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the close space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use your combined powers to break this barrier. Let's return peace to the country without fail. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the triforce. So, we've rescued Zelda now, finally. <sighs> like... Ugh, I, I, I'm not counting right now, but it's probably like nine parts later from when we discovered her that she was hiding in Turtle Rock that she told us about. It's eight or nine, but so let's go make our way to Ganon's tower. Oh, you see those fireballs that those guys are launching, right? Those are the same type of fireballs that we we're trying to block in the fourth dungeon. Now I can block them now that we have the mirror shield. Oh, but those fireballs hurt kind of. Okay, so now that we're maxed on our rupees, let's go uh, end the video with this last sequence here. Link, we are going to break the barrier with, of Ganon's tower with our power. One of the maidens also hinted toward this, uh, towards this too, that they can they can combine their powers to break the barrier or something like that. 
or combining your powers to unite and to against Ganon. And this is Ganon's tower opening up. And the way clear, the way has been opened up for us to enter Ganon's tower. We are going to tackle Ganon's tower in the next part of Link to the Past. This has been Eltrotra. I'll be signing off. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, or like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time for part 17 of Link to the Past.